And right here in Alberta, we've announced previously our $1.6 billion investment in blue hydrogen, leveraging all the natural resources here to support the energy transition here in Alberta and in Canada uh, through the leadership of the government, which we're so proud to be a part of. Forget oil. The future of Canada's energy might lie in a tiny molecule, hydrogen. Canada is committed to reducing its carbon emissions by 40 to 45 percent below 2005 levels by 2030 and achieving net zero by 2050. To meet these goals, Canada's economy will need to be powered by two equally important energy sources, clean power and clean fuels. Clean fuels are expected to play a critical role in hard to decarbonize sectors such as industry and medium and heavy duty freight. Even in a scenario with ambitious electrification, it is estimated that 60% or more of national energy demand in 2050 could need to be met with clean fuels to meet a net zero goal. Canada's hydrogen strategy aims to have 30% of end use energy be from clean hydrogen by 2050. According to the strategy, Canada produces an estimated 3 million tons of hydrogen per year from natural gas today. But the strategy doesn't indicate how much hydrogen is produced from low emission sources. Clean fuels are fuels that produce much lower greenhouse gas emissions than traditional fuels on a life cycle basis. There are many types of clean fuels, including biofuels such as cellulosic ethanol, renewable diesel, synthetic fuels, and sustainable aviation fuel, as well as gaseous fuels such as clean hydrogen and renewable natural gas. Clean fuels can be used to power our transportation and industrial sectors, support Canada's conventional energy sector in the low carbon transition, and secure a greener future. This Edmonton Transit bus looks and feels like your average bus, but there's one major difference. It's powered by hydrogen. There's no engine, there's no transmission. This big black fuel cell uses hydrogen and oxygen to create energy to drive the bus. There are zero emissions. The byproducts, heat and water. These are ways for us to sustain, to have sustainable fuel, really look at climate action and put a, a big punch into that. For one year, the city will track how the bus handles distances and Alberta's extreme temperatures. It's certainly part of our, um, our desire to be uh, emissions neutral by 2050. Green hydrogen is energy source with zero emissions, fueled by the most abundant element on Earth, water. This tiny molecule acts like a clean energy battery, storing the power of wind, solar, and hydro resources. It can be burned without spewing greenhouse gases, powering your car, heating your home, or even fueling planes. It's versatile, efficient, and holds the key to breaking free from our reliance on fossil fuels. But here's the magic. Canada is in prime position to lead the way. We have vast reservoirs of water, enough renewable energy potential to power the entire continent, and the technological know-how to turn all this into green hydrogen. Through electrolysis powered by our clean energy sources, we can split water into hydrogen and oxygen, a clean energy revolution brewed right here in our backyard. And that's just the beginning. We can also extract hydrogen from biomass further expanding our clean energy options. Dip into the heart of Quebec, where Projet Morissy rises like a beacon of green energy. This colossal facility, the world's largest producer of green hydrogen, harnesses the power of hydropower to crack water into clean fuel. Witness the awe-inspiring scale of the electrolyzers churning out enough hydrogen to power thousands of homes and envision the ripple effect as this clean energy flows towards homes and industries across the country. Travel east to Newfoundland's windswept shores where colossal turbines dance in the breeze. But they're not just generating electricity, they're powering the future. Watch as the wind's energy is transformed into hydrogen captured and shipped across the seas this pioneering project isn't just fueling homes and industries abroad, it's showcasing Canada's leadership in exporting clean energy to the world. Several hydrogen projects are underway in Edmonton, Canada, 
aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions and positioning the region as a hub for the hydrogen economy. One of the significant projects is the Air Products Net Zero Hydrogen Energy Complex, a $1.6 billion investment that will make Edmonton the center of Western Canada's hydrogen economy. The complex is expected to produce up to 100,000 tons of hydrogen per year when fully operational. Additionally, the Edmonton Region Hydrogen Hub is coordinating more than 25 projects related to hydrogen production, contributing to the development of a strong Canada-wide hydrogen economy. A $4 billion green hydrogen plant will be built in Shawinigan, Quebec by TES Canada. The plant is expected to exclusively produce 70,000 tons of green hydrogen for end users in Quebec. The main customer for the plant will be Energir, which will use the hydrogen to produce around one-fifth of its 115 million cubic meters of renewable natural gas. This project is significant as it is Quebec's largest decarbonization project to date, with the goal of reducing annual CO2 emissions by 800,000 tons. The investment is being made without public funding and is expected to create 1,000 jobs during the construction phase. As Canada's hydrogen revolution takes root, so too does a wave of exciting opportunities. Imagine construction crews laying the groundwork for new electrolyzer facilities, engineers designing cutting-edge hydrogen technologies, and researchers pushing the boundaries of clean energy production. These aren't just jobs, they're the seeds of a new green economy, nurturing skilled workforces and empowering a diverse range of industries. Canada's vast hydrogen potential isn't just for domestic consumption, it's a springboard for economic diversification and global leadership. Picture tankers laden with green hydrogen sailing across oceans, fueling other nations in their clean energy journeys. Witness Canada's expertise in hydrogen technology exported around the world, helping other countries build their own clean energy futures. This isn't just trade, it's a collaborative effort, a ripple effect of progress that will wash over the entire world. But the most profound impact of Canada's hydrogen revolution lies in the very air we breathe. Imagine smog-choked cities giving way to clear skies, thanks to hydrogen-powered buses and industry shifting to clean fuel. Picture children playing in parks free from exhaust fumes, their lungs filled with fresh air. This isn't just the environmental win, it's a health revolution, mitigating climate change and protecting the well-being of generations to come. The hydrogen revolution isn't just about energy. It's about a ripple effect of positive change that touches every aspect of our lives. It's about creating jobs, driving economic growth, and protecting our planet for future generations. It's about breathing easier, living lighter, and forging a future fueled by hope and clean energy.